There are two main ways to get Microsoft Word for free. You can navigate to office.com and create a free account. Once you do that, you will be able to create new Microsoft Word document right from the home page. And you will have access to the functionality of Microsoft Word on the desktop right in your browser. Another way to get ability to work with Microsoft Word documents for free is using OneDrive.com account. In a sense, OneDrive and Office.com are connected and you will get 5 GB of free storage. To create a new Word document on OneDrive, you click on the New button and click Word document. You will get access to the same browser-based interface and you can start working on your Word document immediately. Browser-based Word application is very similar and supports about 80% of the functionality of traditional desktop-based Word application. Free browser-based version of Microsoft Word allows you to create new documents and supports core editing features. You have access to formatting features and use familiar right mouse click functionality to access and make text bold, italic, underlined, as well as copy and paste functions. You also have access to styles and change styles of the text as needed. In addition to being able to create new documents, you can upload and add existing docx files. To upload existing files, you use upload and open feature in office.com or you can use upload feature in onedrive.com. In OneDrive, you can also upload the entire folder. One of the coolest features of Word Online that is not available in the desktop version is ability to edit the document by multiple people real time and see the changes. This is called co-authoring, which allows much faster creation of the final version quality Word documents. For example, through power of technology, we can see two people editing the same document side by side. When person on the right chooses to make updates to the document, person on the left can see the changes right away. And if there is more than one person editing, you can even look at the cursor that shows the changes and see which user is making the changes. Not everything is the same, though, between Word Desktop and Word on the web. Desktop version of the Word, which is represented on the right side of the screen, is much richer in capabilities and features. There are some limitations in the web-based version related to document protection and security. For example, if you go to Review tab, you wouldn't have ability to protect your document and restrict editing in the web-based version. You also have some limitations in password protections and managing versions of the document. There are also some minor differences in the editing and formatting of the document. For example, there are fewer styles available in online version. And if you navigate to the Layout tab, you will see that there are fewer sizes available for the page size in the Word document. On top of this, document review features are limited in the Word for the Web version. You can still do spell checking and grammar checking in your Word for the Web document, and you can also translate the document into different languages. Most of these features are located in the Review tab in the extension to the Editor button. But you have some limitations and cannot create custom dictionary or have access to thesaurus, which is available in the desktop-based version. And last but not least are the differences how objects are represented in a web-based version. The features of editing tables, pictures, or hyperlinks are limited, and you have some limitations on inserting smart art or word art into your document, which is available in the desktop-based version. To better understand why free version of Microsoft Office in better for some scenarios, let's understand the typical document creation and editing workflow. Typically, there is a very important co-authoring document steps in document workflow. You might start by creating a new document or editing an existing document. But a lot of times, you might be required to co-author document with other people. Co-authoring means that you might send a link to other people and ask them to edit your document. You typically do it by using the shared feature in Office documents or copying the link and sending it directly via email. Co-authoring of the document is much more effective when you have one shared copy of the document and multiple people have access to this shared copy and can make edits. Having a single copy of the document in the cloud makes the step of co-authoring documents much more effective using the free version of Microsoft Office. In the past, typical setup of Microsoft Office was on the desktop. User can access desktop-based applications that were locally installed. Users would save the document into the local storage. And in some cases, the network server might have been created, which could be used to store backup copies of the document. Over time, people realized 
that in order to create high-quality document, you need to get feedback from other people. Concept of co-authoring was introduced, and software vendors, including Microsoft, started adding features to make co-authoring much easier. An example of co-authoring might be editing revisions of the document, having multiple people work on a student project, or work on a high-quality creative work. The entire review tab was introduced in Microsoft Office documents, which allowed you to track changes, accept or reject changes from other people, and compare multiple documents. But in the old model, you still required to share the document with other user, them making the changes, and then you going through the process of accepting and rejecting the changes. When Microsoft introduced storing documents on SharePoint as a central platform, it was a great idea, but SharePoint, unfortunately, never took off. And this technology was only accepted by the businesses. For a very long time, the only version of co-authoring for multiple people to edit the document was sharing the copy of the document on a local network. In this model, one user can create or edit documents, put them onto the shared local drive, notify another user, and then another user using similar desktop-based configuration would go ahead and edit, would review the changes, and provide suggestions for the documents that they were co-authoring. This was a great innovation back then, but the configuration required Office to be installed on user's device, device to be connected to the local network, and files shared over the network, either wired or wireless local network. Over the years, the dominant position that Microsoft Office established in document editing was challenged by free cloud-based platforms. Google created a free version of Office in the Cloud, which allowed user to create an equivalent of any type of the Office file. At no cost, you can create a document in Google Docs, and suddenly users have access to free sophisticated editing capabilities. In addition to cloud-based challenge, over the years, people started using mobile devices more and more and started demanding features of Microsoft Office right on the mobile smartphones or tablets. Over the years, this challenged the dominant position of Microsoft Office in document editing, and the product started slowly losing market share. The new reality was the huge popularity of mobile devices, variety of different platforms on the desktop and mobile, as well as the competition from Google and Apple, forced Microsoft to rethink their cloud strategy. One of their biggest challenges was the question, how can you support the sophisticated and rich desktop-based environment, provide access and allow users to create and edit Microsoft Office documents on smartphones and tablets, as well as respond to challengers that only require the browser for Office document editing. This is how Office.com platform was created. This platform has Office applications for the browsers installed right in the cloud which allows browser-based access to office.com. You can use any modern browser like Chrome, Edge, which is Chromium-based, Safari, Firefox, or others to access and edit Microsoft Office documents. Documents could be stored in the cloud on the OneDrive storage, as well as locally on the desktop in the file system for your laptop or desktop, as well as locally on the mobile devices. Desktop users, mobile users, or browser users can co-author documents at the same time. And the coolest feature above all is that Office.com browser-based platform is free. And the only thing you need to start taking advantage of this platform is your browser. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up this tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.